Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to AFK Journey. I am finally excited because we have Taylene's skills. This is on the blog post. Uh, they haven't released the video yet, so I'm hoping the video will be in the next day or so, so then we can dive deeper into it. But in this post, they go through some flavor text on Taylene, and then we go through her skills, which is the big thing, and she does something that I was not expecting. You guys know in one of my previous videos, I went through her skills in AFK Arena, what I was expecting her to do, and she kind of does that but more so we'll get into it all right so um basically like, like i said they start off with some flavor text about her i ain't gonna read that because that is not what i'm overly excited about but you know they go through the flavor text uh some images from the trailer and stuff like that the trailer's good you can go check that out if you want to as well i love this scene here it was wicked but the big thing we are getting to is Taylene's skills. Taylene is not only an embodiment of elegance, but also a fearsome presence on the battlefield. Thanks to her skills, she is unstoppable in battle. So, I do believe, I do believe it is going to be very similar to AFK Arena, where she should have one copy viability. I don't think she's going to be that bad that she won't. Maybe for Giga Whales with like um, Paragons and stuff like that, maybe her numbers won't be high enough at one copy. But I think for the average free to play player, I'm anticipating her to be decent at one copy. Once again, we'll have to wait and see. I will test her at one copy, and then I am going to... I don't care if she's bad. I'm not going for Rainier. I'm going all in on Taylene, just because I love Taylene. So let's get into her skills and have a chat about it. So this is the ultimate divi divine confl... Con I, I hate this word. Divine conflagration 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 <laughs> you know how everyone has those words like a lot of people it's hospital or ambulance conflag is one of those words I, I let's get into it divine word Taylene flies into the center of the battlefield shooting wide range flames at enemy at the enemy side of the battlefield so you want to keep the enemies over the enemy side i'm assuming is what it is it looks like it's only over the enemy side of the battlefield so if they've lunged uh maybe it doesn't hit them we'll have to wait and see this skill continuously consumes her hp but the damage dealt will increase over time to me this sounds like she is invulnerable while doing it as well because she flies up which could have two implications one it could be good because she doesn't get killed but two it could she be bad because she no longer takes the heat for her allies depending on how you're trying to play her we'll have to wait and see but you know we've got a massive nuke on the battlefield essentially on the enemy side of the battlefield for her ultimate and yes it is draining her hp but if you watch my other video on how she works in afk arena which we'll get to in a sec you'll understand why that is so moving on from that we have the next ability which is radiant resurgence Whenever Taylene loses a certain amount of HP, uh, in AFK Arena, it's a cumulative 10% of her max HP, I believe it was, uh, she will release a warm current to heal her allies. On the other hand, she will unleash... And this is something that she didn't have, which I absolutely love. On the other hand, she will unleash a torrent that deals damage to enemies whenever she restores a certain amount of HP. This is cool. When this skill is uh, cast, so that's the passive portion. Then we have the active portion. When it is cast actively, Taylene will consume a certain percentage of her max HP to summon a divine fire and deal damage to all enemies within an area. So we have two things there going on. When, as she loses HP, she's going to heal allies. As she gains HP, she's going to deal damage to enemies. And when she actively uses it, she's going to deal damage to enemies with the attack by consuming her HP, which is also going to heal her allies. So I think this is going to be pretty crazy. So this one here looks like the... Maybe this is the warm... Yeah, so this is the aura that's like healing allies. You can see it's like sort of... You've got the plus numbers on the allies. I'm assuming that's what that is. Uh, and then up here, we've got, I'm assuming this is the actively used bit, uh, Divine Fire that she summons down. Dude is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Blazing Ascension. So this is her third ability, and I think this is her last basic kit ability, and the one we look at after this will be her exclusive equipment. But this one gives her a great rounded out basic kit to use at one copy or all the way through your ascensions until you get her higher. So let's go through this. This skill enables Taylene to transform into, a, transform into a ball of flame upon defeat and resurrect after some time to rejoin the battle. 
as long as there are allies on the battlefield, she can resurrect unlimited times, each time bringing about an explosion that deals damage to all nearby enemies and knocks them back. Now, the one thing that this doesn't say, and keep in mind, these are like the absolute TLDR of TLDR descriptions that we have. We don't have the skill ups. We don't have the, you know, added little touches that they have because often the skill ups also have added touches. Uh, in AFK Arena, each time she dies, the, the resurrection time increases so i'm curious to see if that happens in this one as well or if it stays at a fixed time i'm assuming it would increase uh but if it doesn't it's still pretty busted now when it says as long as there's still allies on the battlefield uh in afk arena there's like weird interactions where uh in that game iron actually summons tornadoes that stay on the battlefield and swirl around and if those are on the battlefield it counts as someone being alive uh and like she can still revive from that so that would count for things like the cart from damien i'm I'm curious to see how this interacts with Thorin. If we have her linked to Thorin and she dies, is she still technically alive and then she can help Thorin? I'm not too sure. We will have to wait and see. But once again, she does get the revive, which is a big thing for her. Once again, because we have the fact that with her other ability, as she loses HP, she's going to heal her allies and then she can resurrect. You can run her in the front row. Uh, you can run her in pretty much decent harm's way. Or if there's a lunger, you get them to attack her and then they'll basically attack her and be healing the, fr the tanks as she as they're taking the damage at the start of battle and it can like help you mitigate a lot of the early burst damage uh which is a fantastic thing and that's why she was used in afk arena so we'll have to wait and see how that pans out but once again when she comes back she does do the knockback as well uh which is not ideal for grouping teams but you know at the end of the day, I, I don't think we need a unit that's going into a grouping team <laughs> as much anymore. We got we got enough of those. So I feel like she's going to be pretty splashable in general. All right. Next up, we have Pri Pyre of Renewal. Now, I believe this is going to be the exclusive equipment uh, based on the rest of the abilities making a really core cool basic kit that and, and uh, embodies what she is. And this is like the icing on the cake. And I had no idea this was going to happen. Uh, I, I couldn't even like, this didn't even come into the frame of mind of ideas that they thought I thought they would implement onto her. But dude, this is pretty nuts. At the start of battle, Taylene grants Pyre of Renewal to an ally. I'm curious to see how the ally is selected. Dealing damage over time to their nearby enemies. This skill's damage increases as it enhan is enhanced during the battle. Battle. We don't know time of enhancement. When it is enhanced to a certain level, the carrier will gain Taylene's, Taylene's resurrection ability, transforming into a ball of flame upon defeat and then resurrecting after some time. Please note this effect can only be triggered once in each battle. Now this raises a ton of questions for me. One, if they revive using this effect, do they regain their other passives that they can only activate once per battle because it's technically another life? I've seen some games where that kind of thing happens. I've seen some where it doesn't. I don't know. It'd be really interesting to see if you could put it on Thorin uh, and then he uses his lives and then he gets this revive and then he gets his lives again. I don't know. I don't think it'll be that way, but it'll be interesting. The other thing that I'm very curious on this one is if now you have Taylene on the field and an ally who has the extra life, if one of the, if either or are in a fireball and the other one dies to go into a fireball, does the other one's fireball be considered a live ally so that then, then they can both come back to life? That is going to be a huge one. I really hope it does because it would make sense, but I'm not too sure. So is is Taylene's fireball considered a an ally on the battlefield when the other ally is the last ally and they die and go into a fireball so that they can go into a fireball and come back? So while they're in a fireball, Taylene comes back and then they come back. But I, I'm not too sure. I, I'm, I'm definitely curious to see how that works, but that is one of the big questions that I do have coming into this. Ending remarks. Taylene is a powerful celestial with, uh, with a selfless spirit Spirit, bravely confronts the dangers of uh, the battlefield to protect the things she loves. Her existence is is akin to a luminous... Dude, there is so many big words that I'm just freaking struggling with here. They're not even big. I'm just like... Counterforce against darkness and evil, and her tail captures the essence of hope and courage like her blazing wings. Let's look forward to her imminent arrival. Okay, cool. Let's look forward to hopefully getting some freebies and a bunch of free summons and stargazers for everyone because you, 
the, this is super hype character, but no one has summons, and that fucking gives me the shits. But anyway, we'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt for now, and I hope they will do something to like increase this so that she can be hype and she's not like another like nail in the coffin, so to speak. Because like she, now, now we have a hype character. This is the kind of character I don't care if she's not as meta as Rainy. I am going all in on Taylene because she is way cooler. Like, that's all there is to it. This is the kind of character that I've been wanting. So I really, really hope they adjust some of those systems, but we'll have to wait and see. But in general, I think her kit looks like, for especially for a free-to-play player, I think one copy of Taylene is going to be amazing for campaign, for arena. And I don't know. Uh, I, I feel like Croker, she has viability. Uh, I just don't know if she beats out Thorin in Croker because Thorin has the damage amplification. So we'll have to wait and see how much damage she provides. So it's going to depend on how many copies, I think. So I think I think at one copy, she'll have usage in AFK stages for free-to-play and also usage for Arena in free-to-play. And, and this is obviously without looking at any multipliers. So this is just a guess based on how her kit works. And then I think for... Um, for bosses, it, there's a possibility that she could be good, but I think it will be dupe dependent because it will re require her to deal a decent amount of damage, but she will be a good sustaining option. It's whether she can be a good sustaining option and output as much damage as what a Smokey does, considering you got to remember the Smokey does have a little bit of buffing as well. So we'll have to wait and see, but that is a look at Taylene's skills. I am super excited for this one. Like I said, I have been saving up. I'm going to dump everything into her, even if she's not considered to be great, but uh, you know, we will see. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of Taylene. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.